and a quick video about tulip seed. Um, it is something. What? Why are you not here? <laughs> I'm coming. You're always <laughs> next to me. <laughs> so uh, we we get sometimes questions like uh, how to propagate tulips and blah blah and uh, and why seeds and why why uh, why bulbs yeah why bulbs and why not seeds and um, so first of all I will show you tulip seed so if you don't that had the tulip flower after blooming and when it has been um, which you should because it helps bring your bulbs back the next year yeah be and because it doesn't put all this energy in this, this seed pot uh, but um, uh, this only happens when they are um, uh, how do you call the thing what bees do pollinating pollinated like so when when the <laughs> when the flower is pollinated uh, um, it will uh, so it's fertilized and it actually makes seeds because not all of your tulips you, you not that had are becoming like this oh because they have to get i didn't yes. know that they yeah. have to get fertilized by the bees to produce this yes, cool yes. okay so then uh, if you just wait and um you see it gets brown and dry and like these guys uh it's maybe a little the lighting looks a little here hold uh, on i'll come around dump them in my head but i think it's the light i think you have to move it uh, Mm. Mm. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. You can see them. <laughs> Tulip seed. So, um, I grew up on a tulip farm, <laughs> <laughs> but I never ever planted tulip seed. And, and actually, maybe this year should be my first year. Oh my God. <laughs> because uh, tulip seed is something what only uh, uh, breeders do who, who want to create new varieties. And they are actually purposely. Uh, Cross pollinate. Yeah, they, they they grab this beautiful yellow parrot and they grab this big purple tulip and they put it together and they hope that yellow and purple flames comes out. That yeah, and then actually, so I I believe oh, not I, not I believe like with tulip seed, um, and, uh, all the seeds are becoming a different variety. Oh, so it's kind of like know, apples, I think. Yeah, so I don't know how many are in there. It looks like hundreds. So what happens? You, know, you have uh, these hundreds of seeds. You better some rain hurry up! And it's and raining. <laughs> and um, they are not gonna bloom until probably like four or five years. So you plant them, and then first they become a really tiny little bulb, and every year they get a little bit bigger. And then after four or five years, you will have your first blooming flower. And then you don't even. It might not even be the color that you hoped for. No. So then, then as a breeder, you are hoping that then something is more pretty or whatever stronger they, they have, something but it is you have to be a little bit not so to be in the tulip breeding uh you have to be super patient it's crazy super super patient because so it takes the first five years and you have one bulb and before you can sell it you need to have like how many years do they have to see that it stays it's probably like 15 years or something before they can make uh, money or maybe so even 20 like, years so like say they have that one flower out of them all that comes up the way they want that has something special then they plant it again and next year it could just go away and it goes back to plain old yellow so they have to keep, kind of keep going it's really raining now <laughs> to see if it continues and then if it stays and it holds its color and holds those what you're saying is actually not really true it's not no that is only that, is, that is with mutations so, it, oh. so this is if you have do, do uh, if you do this these are gonna but stay. you said they were all different they're all different but when this is a new very cool tulip the bulb always uh, copies its own genes okay but there are also mutations and then you don't do this uh, if you make new varieties it's not through pollinate pollinating but mm -hmm. it is through like a uh, mutating what means they just if you have this this 10 acre field of yellow flowers you might get a mutation mutation and then, then the and yellow that one, might not keep no that might not keep okay so but if you cross pollinate it the genetic code sticks yeah and so you'll keep getting that year after year yes. so what do they look for on those next years like say they have it finally year five so i mean they're, they're just gonna decide that it's like, strong uh, and it lasts yeah if they want to have a better lasting cut flower or if they want to have an earlier cut flower or if they want to have a prettier um, so they just continue to test it yeah and to be sure that yes. what they have is yeah. good good yeah Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And oh, it, and now it's stopping raining. And it, it might be that 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 you have, you create a new variety, but it really does not propagate well. Like so, it, it okay. doesn't uh, make uh, big bulbs or. Mm -hmm. But uh, like so, they so they will keep testing that, and and they they need to 
uh, make the decision like oh is this new one really better uh, than uh, one of those like there are like already 5,000 plus varieties like you have 5,000 yeah like however many pink but is this an, a truly actually better pink yeah. what's better about it yeah. But yeah, so cool. tulip seed. I, I hope to this year I will be disciplined to kind of start trying out the, the process. We're gonna need a special garden for this. Because it will be, no, I think you do it indoor, the indoors the first couple of years because you're gonna lose them because they're so small and. Uh, okay. Yeah. So like when you're starting seed. Yeah, but I have to ask my my, my tulip uh, the tulip expert mad, friends. Your mad scientist I, I, friends. I actually don't really you know. You don't know how to make a bulb out of this. All right, well, we'll keep you posted on this. We'll do some more videos. You can go along with it with us. Something new that Jeroen is learning. Yes. Very cool. I. Oh my gosh, if he gets into this, <laughs> God help us. Make new wicked tulip varieties. All right, cool. guys. <laughs> Sun's coming up. I bet you we could see a rainbow. <laughs>